The National Police Service is privy to the special social media report of surmised public demonstration duped Nane Nane planned for August 8, 2024 across the Republic. As a law enforcement agency operating in democratic space, we appreciate the provision under the Bill of Rights, Chapter 4 of the Constitution, Article 37, provides that every person has the right, peaceably and unarmed, to assemble, to demonstrate, to picket, and to present petition to the to public authorities. Article 37 is further operationalized by Section 5 of the Public Order Act, which provides for regulation of public meeting and processions. The Public Order Act requires that any person intending to convene a public meeting or public procession shall notify the regulating officer, OCS, in writing of such intent at least three days but not more than 14 days before the proposed date of public meeting or procession, indicating the venue or route of procession. Where our citizens have right to demonstrate and hold public procession, Article 24.1D of the Constitution calls for the need to ensure that enjoyment of rights and fundamental freedom by any individual does not prejudice the right and fundamental freedom of others. The initial, the initial demonstrations that were held by youths Gen C in June were peaceful, but subsequent protests were found into riots which looters destroying the and stealing property. Many police officers and civilians have equally been left either injured or dead. Already, our intelligence report indicated that there are security threats to the country, with criminal planning to infiltrate tomorrow's demonstration and commit further crimes. In anticipation, we have ensured adequate deployment of security personnel. However, members of public are advised to take extra caution while in crowded areas that are likely to turn rioters. We also wish to caution members of the public against contravening the Kenya Civil Aviation Act and the Protected Areas Act by avoiding trespass of protected areas such as Chomokinyata International Airport and State House Lodges. In brief, all those planning uh, to exercise their rights of participation in public demonstration, presenting petition or assembling should do so in compliance with the attendant laws. I wish to appreciate all police officers, wherever they are serving our country, and beyond for their dedication to duty, appreciating that officers are serving under very difficult conditions. I call upon all officers to remain focused on discharging their constitutional mandate, which is to protect life and property, maintain law and order, and they should do so without any fear or favor. Fellow Kenyans, this country is all we have. Every one of us, therefore, has a responsibility to keep our country safe. Thank you. I may take one or two questions.
yes, we have the capacity to thwart any threat that will be against the peaceful protesters. In regard to attacking any civilian vehicle that you assume is a police vehicle, that will be wrong because you will be prejudicing the rights of others. In regard to abduction, it's good that you differentiate arrest and abduction. When one is arrested, it's taken to the police station, and the due process is followed. Later, after investigation, produced before the court of law. The previous demonstrations have been hijacked by the opportunists and the hulkans, who destroyed the properties of peaceful Kenyans, and those are the guys who intend to take maybe that opportunity to steal or destroy property and cause havoc. Thank you, thank you. The DCI has reminded me about the question you asked about the court order. Matters court order we have to obey as per the court order. And also, those going against the rule of law have to be dealt with as per the law. Thank you very much.